Well, this morning we are previewing an event that's going on this weekend for a pretty special organization. And joining us this morning to talk about it is Thomas Ginter, who's the webmaster for Utah Hands and Voices. Good morning, Thomas. Good morning. Tell us what Utah Hands and Voices is. Well, Utah Hands and Voices is a national organization run primarily by parents to provide support for parents and families of with um, deaf and hard of hearing children. Okay, and you have a special event going on this weekend. We do. Um, this Saturday we have a carnival um, and chili cook-off at the Utah Deaf Center in the Sanderson Center over in uh, Taylorsville. Is it open to everybody? It's open to everyone. Everyone is welcome to come and enjoy some good chili. So tell us what they'll expect if they turn out that day. Well, hopefully they'll expect to contribute to the chili cook-off, but also they can expect to have um, a lot of fun with games um, and activities that allow them to not only have fun with their kids, but interact with other families who also have deaf or hard of hearing children. That would probably be a good learning opportunity for people to go out to that too. Yes, definitely. So how does it help the deaf and blind community? So what we do is we provide advocacy and information to different parents irregardless of their communication mode um, and we try to do it in an unbiased way so that um, the deaf community at large can get more exposure to those parents that have deaf and hard of hearing children. Um, the vast majority of parents who are of children who are born deaf are actually born to hearing parents. So those parents may not have any information or exposure to um, the deaf or hard of hearing community in the past and may not know what communication modes or other information is out there. So how much of a difference can it make to these kids who are deaf? Um, it makes a huge difference. Um, each parent knows their child better than anyone else. And so by having the information they need, they're able to make the decisions that are more accurate um, and can help provide better advantages to those children throughout their future. So is there a fee to show up for the carnival or do they just take donations when they're there? Um, there's no fee to show up to the carnival. Okay. Um, in fact, none of our events are ever um, fee charged. But um, there is, if they want to join the organization, there is a small, we ask for a small donation for that. All right, and here's the information again. It's this Saturday from 10 to 2, and you can show up at the Sanderson Community Center for the Deaf and Hard of Hearing. So you can also visit today.ksl.com. We are going to have a link uh, for more information on the live interviews section, so you can go there to find out more information. Thanks, Thomas. Thank you. And Grant, we're going to send it over to you. and.